So he's right here. Clap my hands, pull that in. Grab my elbow, pull it down, sit up. If he removes it, I pull, get my overhook, get to over, uh, get to high guard, rubber guard, when possible. Okay. The next one is he's here, and maybe he's really strong, or you're really tired, and you're trying to pull that in, and you can't grip, you can't get your hands to come together, he won't let you close it off. Now what you're going to do is just raise your arms high above your head, grip, take one side and remove the other, and immediately go to two on one side. Same thing on the other side. He's not letting me get my hands together. So I raise my hands up, I remove one side, I sit up, close that guard again if I want. But now I've got two of his arms on one side, I can start going to his back, I can start sweeping him, doing all sorts of fun stuff from here, okay? Here goes the bicep control. Come all the way up, I remove, I sit up. Okay, and I've got two on one side. If he starts getting squirrely and coming back up, look, here's where we have the, uh, the cross overhook situation. We're gonna just ladder that. That's pretty tight, right there. I've still got him stuck here. I can just hold on, it's very painful for him. Okay, but at, at the very least, even if it's not painful, I can just hug that sucker for all it's worth, and his posture's still pretty tight, okay? I've also created an angle where now if he tries to force punching off that other side, boom, boom, which he can, it's pretty easy to pass that off. And now we've got all this other fun stuff we can do from here. Okay, so we've covered the bicep control, we've covered the, we've covered the hip control, we've covered the traditional control, and now the last one is, sometimes when you're really good at breaking the guy's posture, he says, all right, fine, my posture's somewhat broken, I'll, I'm gonna punch for the, punish you for that, and he goes to the can opener. Okay, uh, not good. Um, when, it, when they're able to get that can opener, okay, worst case scenario is, you're starting to get your neck crank, you have to abort your guard to preserve your neck. It, it, th that's not what you wanna do, but again, you, you have to do what you have to do. Live to fight another day or at least other battles in that same fight. Um, but some things you can do, he goes for that can opener, the first thing is to turn the face away and push the chin back. Okay, my arms stay straight, this hand goes inside and weaves for the overhook and back to the river guard, high guard position. Right here, he goes to the can opener, I make some space, I come inside, overhook, rubber guard. This is just like, uh, we learned this principle at the uh, CSW, 2008 CSW instructor's camp. A lot of these same positions you'll address in standing. So basically this is like a plum. This is like Muay Thai's plum. And this is basically one of the first basic escapes from the plum. He gets a plum on, you create space, you come inside. In Muay Thai you come to the head and come to the head, which is okay. You can do this, his posture is still somewhat broken, or it's, it's broken, it's just I don't have as many controls. Okay. But in this case, we're gonna make space. Again, it's important to turn the face too, because that also weakens his ability to, to crunch you up. This other hand comes in the middle, overhook, high, high rubber guard position here. Okay, the next one is he gets my neck, and as he's sitting, I sit up with him. Now, once I'm here, I reach over his shoulder. Hopefully I can get his lat. If not, I get his neck. And you can't see it maybe so much, but my chest has turned his elbow in slightly. And now that his elbow's in and pressed to his chest, he's basically like this, a very weak position. I'm just gonna shuck it and I'm free. And look, I've got the two on one, two on one side arm position. Okay, one more time. He can open, can open his knee. I turn to the side, I, I sit up with him and I grab his lat. And then from here, just shuck it. Okay. Sometimes you might be too weak. In fact, I'll, I'll do this from the other side. He goes from the can opener. I'm here. Shuck. See how I use my legs and hips in that as well. Hips here. 
Now sometimes he might be a little bit too weak or he might have it on a little bit too strong. What I can do, now just take a little bit of pressure out. What I can do is I can use a hand, pull this in. See how I'm already weakening that just from that. Or on the other side, I reach across, I pull it in. That's what I want, that's the angle I want to create on his shoulder. See, it starts cranking, oh, turn it. I'm here. I didn't have to sit up on that one. Come over here. Or on the other side, he starts to crank. Oh boy. Turn this in. Crank it. Yeah. Last one, really slow. This hand comes through, grabs, and just angles this in. I just turn, grab his lap. He can't hold on. Arm bars available, soups are available. It's a nice uh, situation to be in. Again, you might get a little slow on this, and he might be cranking the crap out of your neck. Ah! Worst case is you're here, okay? It's always your, nice to have that bailout plan. <clears throat> but when at all possible, I like to be offensive. I like to attack their grips on me so that they don't, they don't want to touch your neck. They don't want to put their, their post on your chest. So there you have it. Um, ways to break the posture based on the different arm configurations he gives me. Not the most glamorous, exciting thing to look at, but um, something that if you master these, uh, these posture breaks, um, your, your opponent's have, going, to have, going to have a very, very difficult time passing your guard, opening your guard, or pun punching or elbowing you from the guard position. He can still run over the top. He can still stack you, put a forearm in your neck, uh, put his, to the top of his head in your face and, and do some nasty, ugly stuff that way. Um, but again, you're, you're uh, playing a higher percentage game that way. That those, you, can, you can be aware of that, those few counter moves he might have and, and have counters ready for him. Um, and it, personally, I, I, I feel like it's a lot safer, more conservative way to, to, um, to play the guard when you're in MMA. Posture breaking from the guard.